All right, so today I gotta put an end on this piece of coax. Actually, I put one on the other end already, and I already got a cigarette in my mouth that I don't know what I'm thinking. But, uh, I figure I'd show some people out there that may not know how to put an end on a piece of coax how to do it. I know I was a rookie at one time, I didn't know how to do it, so, you know, what the hell. So, got this coax here from a good friend of mine because I moved my uh, ground plane down to another tower. <clears throat> and I was looking for some new coax for that. So, here we are. Some good stuff, stuff, man. Good stuff, stuff. Good Lord have mercy. Anyway, what it boils down to, get a PL. Where's the camera at? <laughs> get a PL2 connector. You know what I'm saying? The store, you know, when you buy it. Probably comes about like that. For the big coax, you just take this little piece out of the back of it. Throw it up there on the counter. Throw it in the trash, whatever you prefer. I hold on to them just in case someone comes along and needs one. Okay, the next step is you take this doggone piece off. I've never done this before, so this is all different to me. Not on video, so. Okay, so you take that off of there, right? Now what do you think you're gonna do? Your best bet is to take this piece that you just screwed off of there and put it on the coax before you do anything else to where you know <clears throat> the threads are facing out. Don't do it the other way. You'll be mad when you get done. Okay, so slide it up on there like that, right? Now, here's what I like to do. Put the cigarette over here, get it out of the way. All right. First thing you want to do is you make sure it's going to fit, okay? So kind of twist it up on there, you know. Make sure it's going to fit. If it don't fit, you're SOL, okay? So it'll it'll screw up on there, right? Okay, cool. All right, so get the thing off of there. Okay? la ba, la blam There you go. Now, so I figure... The end of the hot is going to have to come out of that tip, right? Okay, so what I like to do, what I always try to do my best of, is just kind of put them side by side like that, right? So take your thumb, nail, are you getting all that? Yeah, take your thumbnail to the tip of that, okay, to where the threads are at the tip of that coax, all right? It's amazing how many people don't know how to do this, but you know what? We all had to learn somehow. And why uh, depend on someone else to do it for you? So do that. Where your thumbnail's at? Grab your your razor blade and just trim all the way around right there. I probably moved away from the camera. I don't know. I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at the screen. So just run it around. And this coax is really stiff, so it's going to be a pain in my butt. Plus, I got it all rolled up on the floor, so that ain't helping matters none either. Either way, run it around there. Don't go too deep. I should have said that sooner, huh? Sorry if you made a mistake on your watch and at the same time, but don't go too deep. Make sure the coax is in three foot sections. You know, if you're making a small jumper, three foot, you know, by threes. Three, six, nine, so on and so forth. If you're doing a long piece for like your antenna, you're looking at 50 foot. Make sure you measure it to the right length. Man, is this stuff tough. You know, 50, 75, 100, so on and so forth like that. This is some mean stuff right here, man. I forgot how tough the other end was. I should have unraveled the coax. I would have made this a lot easier on myself. All right, get it so far, just kind of bend it back. Make sure you didn't cut through that shield. Now, if you're working with the black black coax instead of this gray stuff, 
You can probably just grab a hold of it and twist it right off. But what I found I had to do, I <laughs> didn't get it all, but that's better than cutting all the way through. Um, with this stuff I found I had to gently take the blade in there. Uh oh, I don't know if you can see me or not. Dog on screen on the uh, computer went blank. Hold on. I got to watch my time. Alright, we're at five minutes. So anyway, I found I had to gently splice this back without cutting my thumb. Okay, get you a little groove in there if you can. I'm trying to keep this in front of the camera, folks. I don't know uh, how good a job I'm doing yet, but I'm doing the best I can. Alright, so, got that. Where did that dog on? Did I cut it? Yeah, right there. Okay. So we'll sp try and get this off of here. Got a dog. I didn't get it good enough. Okay. Better safe than sorry. You know, don't go too deep. Oh, I'm here in that dog on coax right there. So, for the shielding. Peel it off. Whoever used this coax before I got it must have been running some amps. Because that dog on shield is pretty well stuck. And nine times out of ten, the way you can tell that is to look inside the housing and see how the ground is so embedded. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry about that. All right, let's see if I can get this up to the camera. La da 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 da. I don't know, but if it's like real embedded inside, you know. There must have been somebody who used some kind of amplifier with it, which, for my case, I don't care. Because this is just going to my ground plane, and it's for local talking. Alright, so anyway, kind of bend this out right here. Kind of spread that out, right? Now, you think to yourself, man, that's a lot of shielding, right? Well, with the way Audio Man does it, man, my cigarette's burning out on me. All right, anyway, grab a pair of scissors or some good old uh, metal trimmers, aluminum trimmers. I use, we, this is what I use for trimming aluminum when I was doing saw fits and whatnot like that. Trim that up a little bit. You know, you don't need all that. You don't, and that's the truth of the matter. Take so much off of it off. Yeah, that made a lot of sense, didn't it? Anyway, trim so much of it out of there. You know, give it... I don't know, can you see that? Move my hand out of the way, it might help. Okay. Not a whole lot. Alright. Now, leave that be like it is. Alright, let me hit this dog on cigarette before it burns out. Okay. Oop, almost burnt up some solder. Alright, so there you go. Okay, so grab that end again, just to be doggone sure. Alright? Looks like it's going to work out real nice. Okay, now, you're saying to yourself, how do you keep the, the ground away from the hot? Okay, what you do? You know, just guesstimate it. I mean, I don't know, what is that like? eighth of an inch or some shit away from the from the ground go around there gently don't go too far don't go too much you got that real tiny coax it's not hard to destroy it so get that around there I like to take a pair of pliers or something of that effect and twist it not just pull it straight off of there take and twist it that way the you know, the threads will twist together. And then twist it up off of there just to be sure it twisted real nice. That way when you go to put that end on, it don't get binded. Okay? So, okay, I'm moving ahead here. Take and move this around. Get it around there real good. And you're thinking to yourself, man, that's like really close to that hot, right? It is, but 
if you do it just right, when you put that end on there, it'll push it down away from it, and you got nothing to worry about. So twist that around there. Maybe that sucker's kind of close too. You might have to undo it and you know trim off a little bit more. You never know. You never know. But if it looks pretty good to you, go with it. You know, don't second guess yourself all the time. You get a good feeling about something, just move on. Okay. But I see that's quite a bit. But I think it's gonna it's gonna work out because it's just gonna push that down and rock on around. And then you take this in here. Okay. Sometimes you might want to take this and just kind of put it over this. You know, make sure it's going to go through. Because if it don't go through this way, it ain't going to go through the other way. And I got to get it to where I can see what I'm doing. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so it went through. We're good to go. So we put this end on. Give it a twist. gonna make a liar out of me <laughs> it might <laughs> I'm not perfect and just kind of watch through the holes with it going through there make sure it's going straight you might have to grab a pair of pliers but you know what it made a liar out of me I gotta back this up off of here and I gotta trim a little bit more off so hey gotta do what you gotta do can't get it perfect the first time. Oh well. Well, we've been known to make mistakes in life. Well, I want to take a little more off while I got it there. All right, let's see. Let's trim this back here like so. Oh hell, I'm gonna take a little more off. No, no, not that much. Yeah, why not? I think I'll hurt it. Okay. Hopefully we can get it on this time. It should should work out. Make sure them wires ain't nowhere near that hot before you go putting this on. All right, so we twist. Okay. Grab your pliers. It might get a little tight, so grab your pliers. Hold it on there like that. Just twist that sucker. Let it thread itself on down. Kind of maybe look in the end of it. See if it's coming through. I used a used piece that I had from another part to do this one. It's not brand new. So, you know, use co -X, use them. Hey. Whoop de doo. As long as it does the job, who cares, right? That's the way I see it. I'm gonna look down in here. So you know want to go. Uh oh. I'm seeing a bad thing here. I'm gonna twist a little more to see what happens. Kind of watch in the holes to see where your your ground's at. This thing is a pain in the butt, man. Not one of the easiest ones I've ever done. My hands getting hard. Getting tired. Getting tired. Okay, see that's looking pretty good because I pushed that dog on shield down. Work with it. Yeah, see? Pushed it on down. You got a little tiny screwdriver or whatnot you can fit in there. Tip of a nail head. You know. Whatever. You can coax it down if you want to. But usually, the more you twist it and you turn it, it's just going to push everything down where it needs to go anyway. Okay, looking good, baby. Looking good. 
And basically you just twist it until you see the tip come out. Yeah.